Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. As you can see, it is the tea jar, which means that we are getting ready for our Monday morning Continent of Africa coin video. So let's do what we always do. We take the tea jar. This tangerine white tea is in here and we shake it out and we look through it and we see if we can find a coin from the continent of Africa that we have not looked at before. It took a while to get all those coins out. All right, let's kind of poke through. Uh, we see Malagasy, Liberia, uh, some Kenyas. What else we got here? West French, West Africa. Uh, here's one here. Let's let's take a look at this one. It just has a one on the bottom. So let's clear all the other coins out. Get our coin here ready and put the uh, camera on a new stand and take a look. Okay, we see it says one on the back. That tells us absolutely nothing. So we're going to have to turn this one over to figure out exactly what it is. Let's flip it. Ah, this is a one cent coin from the Republic of Zimbabwe. And as many of you know, Zimbabwe has gone through a quite a few years of unrest under Robert Mugabe and is on a new path now, we're hoping, and a more welcoming path to visitors because it's supposed to be a beautiful country. And in 2017, Robert Mugabe was removed and it presently the military is governing it through a new prime minister, vice president. Um, well, through a new president uh, who used to be the vice president, who was Emerson Nangagwa. So, let's be hopeful for Zimbabwe, but let's look at their coins. This particular coin from Zimbabwe is a 1986 one cent. We see it's Z-I-M-B-A-B-W-E here. Uh, we see some diamonds here, and we also see that it is has a picture on the front of the national bird of Zimbabwe, and this is called the Great Zimbabwe Bird, and this is a stone carving of it, so you can actually see the symbolism in the stone carving here, and the Great Zimbabwe Bird, the national symbol on the front. If we tip it over on its side, we see that it is a reeded edge, and this is a well-used coin, which is nice. And then on the back, we see the one again. And geez, these coins get very beat up when they're in use. And much of this getting beat up is them rubbing against each other and scratching each other. So when we do see the back again, we see that it has this floral design or a wreath. And this wreath is made of a specific lily called the Leaves of Flame Lily, which circle around the one. So, and you can actually see why it might be called the Leaves of Flame Lily, because it all actually looks like flames rising around the one. This coin is bronze. It is 3.1 grams in weight, so it's a very light coin. 18.45 millimeters in diameter and 1.45 millimeters thick. This coin was minted at the Royal Mint. It is uh, in... This particular coin, there were 10 million of them made in 1980. And there were some made in 1986, but we do not know how many exactly. So if we go back, we see that this is the 1986, but we don't know how many were made. Um, this particular coin is probably worth, even in this condition, probably worth 25 to 50 cents US. Um, it's not that easy to get. And it is kind of an interesting coin. And if you're collecting the coins from the country of Africa, this is probably one to look for. Uh, much more likely, however, you'll get the 1980 version because there were 10 million of them made. The engraver on the front of the coin was Barry Stanton. And the engraver on the back was Jeff Huntley. So again, a very interesting coin from the country of Zimbabwe or the Republic of Zimbabwe and good luck to all of you in Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwe as 
many of you might know is a country of about 16 million people. It is a various, has many varied languages in the country. There are about 16 languages spoken um, in with English, Shona, and Ndebele, Ndebele to be uh, the most common languages. It is landlocked and is bordered by South Africa, Botswana, Zambia, and Mozambique. All right, that's our Monday morning Continent of Africa coin video. Have a great week ahead. From DC Coin World International Coin Channel.